What is going on YouTube? And we are back for a really special unboxing video that I am presenting to you today. Now, normally, uh, we talk about Omega a lot. We talk about just the technology, the movement. And I, I made a video about a couple of uh, weeks ago. It feels like months, but it, it, it was about a week ago talking about how Omegas are just more bang of a buck for your Rolex. We talked about in the Rolex uh, buy what you're willing to spend time understanding video. And so for today, I'm here to unbox a very special world timer, Aquaterra world timer. Now we are going to be unboxing this and I want you to kind of pay attention to how good this watch was because Omega really knocked it out of the park here. And this is probably the best steel Omega you can buy. So I'm going to shine the light here. We're going to open this box. We're going to take a look. This is by far the best stainless steel Omega of all time, like ever made. It is incredible once you look at the dial, how good this world timer is. So I'm going to open this. And I've been wearing this for the last couple of days because I went to an event. I saw this at the event. I picked it up. Uh, and so the guy had to ship me the boxes. The boxes literally just came now. And so I have been wearing this watch for about a couple of days now, and it is one of the most comfortable Omegas I have ever worn. This beats the No Time to Die Diver in so many ways. And so we're going to be showing you a couple things here before we take a look at the watch. Now, of course, standard Omega operating instructions here. You have your three warranty cards. This is an international warranty. Well, three, and then you have the card here, like different card. This is uh, from uh, a different jeweler. It's not from an Omega jeweler, but they did pick it up at an Omega boutique. And it is actually dated August 3rd, 2021. So it is a 2021 watch. This watch has about a MSRP price of about $9,100. I did not pay $9,100. I paid a little bit less. Not a lot less, but I paid a little bit less. And so now let's take a look at the watch here. All right, guys, I'm gonna pull this watch out. Now I want you to very pay attention to a couple of things here as to why this is the best Seamaster ever worn, ever made. So this is the watch here. So there's a couple of things here that are incredible about this. So first off, you have your uh, time zones on the front of the face instead of the back. This is this is something that you would normally get uh, if you were to go to an AP, uh, a Vacheron, a Patek. You would normally pay thirty to forty grand for something like this. Omega has this priced at nine at brand new. So the price per cost ratio is incredible, and it's I think it's a reason why a lot of people tend to go for this. Um, you have your uh, worlds, like different places of the world. So Alaska is there, Los Angeles, Chicago, Denver. But then you also have like London in red at the bottom. And the reason why London, sorry, the reason why London is in red is because that's, I guess, is the central like GMT time. Um, and then you have BN, which is close, Athens, Moscow, and of course, everything around the world. The reason why they didn't put this on the back was because there's a, a clear case on the back so you can see the movement which is super cool and most really good world timers they have uh they do have the time zones on the front of the watch instead of the back brightling does the nava timer gmt world and they put all the time zones on the back which kind of defeats the purpose but they did put a chronograph there so that explains why they put it on the back but still it kind of was unfortunate they put it on the back but also it's a very thin watch you can wear it under a dress cuff and it's really cool the one thing that makes this watch incredible is the globe in the middle because somebody hand painted that globe this was not made by a machine somebody literally took a brush and literally hand painted that globe and it's absolutely incredible you can even see if you put it to the side you can see that the land is like elevated compared to the sea on the globe which is really really cool this is a really really beautiful watch 43 millimeters Fits my wrist really, really well. Uh, I really like 43 millimeter watches. I think it's the best size because you get the bigness of the 44, but you get the smallness of the 42. I just love this. And I think it is absolutely incredible to look at on the wrist. It feels so good. It feels so comfortable. It feels so light, even though it is a stainless steel on bracelet. 
it is incredible. And this is going to be staying with me for a couple of months. Uh, and I can't wait to be, it's going to be hard to sell this. It, it's really going to be hard to sell this. So this is the Omega Aquaterra GMT Roll Time 43 millimeter in stainless steel on bracelet. You can get a strap, but I think this is uh, better. I think the brace is better. This is a perfect uh, Sky Dweller alternative if you guys are looking for something uh, to uh, to buy uh, over the Sky Dweller. I think this is a watch you should look at. Even a GMT Master 2, I think you should look at. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Omegas are compared to Rolex a lot. And I just think it's really, really pretty. So that is the video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Do you like this watch? Do you not like this watch? Do you want this watch? You can hit me up below or on my Instagram. And uh, have a good one, guys. Take care.